everyone, my name is Brianna Elizabeth Stutz and I'm here to educate you all on whether the death penalty should be abolished or not. A lot of people think that it's a violation of the human rights and that it's unconstitutional and I'm going to be handing you out some sheets with the data and information that I'm going to be going over in the speech. Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, and Jeffrey Dahmer were all given the death penalty for their horrendous crimes they committed. A lot of people believe that it's a violation of human rights to be sentenced to death by a jury. According to CNN, the death penalty is legal in 29 states in the U.S. as of May 31st, 2019. Many citizens today are not properly educated about the capital punishments criminals are given for the crimes they commit. Did you know that most criminals that are given the death penalty die in jail before they even receive their punishment? It's really weird how that works because they sit there, they're put in solitary confinement, and they just wait to be sentenced to death. And no one really knows why. Personally, I have always been extremely interested in criminal cases like this and the punishments that are given. I have always had a storm in a sort of common knowledge because of all the crime shows I watch. And I'm speaking out today to share what I know and what I have learned researching this topic. Many people agree that the death penalty is unconstitutional and that it violates human rights. A lot of people think that it's constitutional, which have you ever heard if the punishment fits the crime? So they're saying if the crime was as bad as the punishment should be, that it should be okay to give it to them, which a lot of people don't agree with. I personally think it's, it's okay in certain circumstances. Twenty-two individuals were executed between 1976 and 2005 for crimes they committed as juveniles. On March 1, 2005, the Supreme Court rules that the execution of juvenile offenders is unconstitutional. Scientists have stated that the brain isn't fully developed until the age of 25. So that means the crimes they committed as kids, they weren't fully capable of making the right decisions. And they've created new laws where they can go and review their case and try to get out of jail. Because a lot of kids will just like commit like simple little crimes and then they'll go to jail for the rest of their life or die in jail and be executed. So the scientists have stated that it's the age of 25, and this is from the CNN library. Many people believe that the death penalty is cheaper and more cost effective than keeping people incarcerated. But this assumption is, has been proven wrong multiple times. So the death penalty is extremely expensive because of legal costs, pretrial costs, jury selection, trial, incarceration, and appeals. It's a whole process the inmate goes through before they can be sentenced to death. A death penalty costs a median of $1.26 million, while a non-death penalty can range from $740,000 to $800,000. This is from the Death Penalty Information Center. There are many different ways inmates can be executed by lethal injection is the most common use one. It's also the most common use one in all 29 states that allow the death penalty. Many states now authorize many different types of executions. There's lethal injection, electrocution, lethal gas, hanging, and firing squad. One of these I have never heard of is firing squad, but when I looked it up, it was where you would be shot in the head and executed instead of lethal injection. I think that's terrible. I feel like the crime, the punishment's okay for the crime, but if it's done that way, it's sort of like medieval to me. Lethal injection, electrocution, and 
lethal gas are all legal practices in the state of Alabama. All these points are very controversial to many people, whether they agree or disagree. Let the courts allow any of all this to happen. Many people are executed for crimes they committed as juveniles. The death penalty is perceived as a cheaper way out, which is not true, and there are many different types of execution methods. On May 31st, 2019, capital punishment is only legal in 29 states. People will never, will never fully agree whether or not the death penalty is constitutional or not, but I hope you will have a new outlook on everything and make your own opinion on this topic. I would like to thank you all for listening to my speech. I hope you all learned a little bit, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.